The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Welcome to The David Pakman Show. I'm David Pakman. Just the uh, last second getting set up here today. I now have confirmed, Lewis, something that I've been back and forth on, which is, do I really believe in theories of parallel universes? Do I believe in time travel? Do I believe in alternate realities and the paranormal? And now I can say unequivocally that I do, because Jan Brewer is clearly either someone from another time or living in another universe, universe or is somehow involved with the paranormal to believe that yesterday's Supreme Court ruling about SB 1070 is a win for her side. Have you seen some of these comments that she made? It's unbelievable. It, it's, it's pretty, pretty insane, yeah. Let's get right to the video. She was asked a bunch of questions about, well, aren't you concerned that just about everything in SB 1070 has been struck down by, by the Supreme Court? And the one thing that hasn't is very tenuously left up there. And at the first sign that it's being misused or used incorrectly by law enforcement officials, we're going to strike down, that down also. She doesn't seem to care about that. She's going with the talking points that this is just all fantastic. Let's get to video of Jan Brewer here. No, you can't do that. So how do you defend having signed something like that? So she's getting a question here, and then we, we'll hear the answer, which is the key part, which is everything's just great. Well, today, the state of Arizona and Senate Bill 1070 was vindicated, and the heart <laughs> of the bill was upheld. Unanimously. Next question. Similar answer, I'm sure. Let's listen. Been considering some of the Obama administration's uh, rules on who they can talk to support anymore. Well, with, with with Section 2B being upheld, it says that local law enforcement can assist the federal government uh, in the right to ask under reasonable uh, suspicion and whenever practicable to confirm um, the legal ability of someone being in the state of when it's practicable <laughs> you can confirm of the legal ability of law enforcement only when it's practicable <laughs> and you have to confirm of that i mean I everywhere like such as the iraq right i suppose <laughs> I suppose if that was the only part of the bill that she cared about, yeah, right. this, this is a win, but uh, very strange. Strange English and, and strange sentiments. All very strange. And it, there's another backstory, which we haven't really talked about. Do we have to go? Do, I don't even know that we have to focus that much more on Jan Brewer because she's clearly just not, not, not with us here, not yeah. in this planet. Right. Anyway, there's this whole other situation, which we haven't talked about much, which is the effect of the private... In private prison industry, which we talked about on a b recent bonus show, Lewis, on SB 1070. And NPR did a report which looked at a lot of campaign finance reports. And 30 of SB 1070's 36 co-sponsors actually received campaign con contributions from lobbyists of three major private prison companies, including our good friends over at CCA, who we've talked about extensively, Lewis. And uh, as well as Geo Group and Management and Training Corporation. And two of Arizona Governor Jan Brewer's lead staffers were former prison company lobbyists. And you know why this is? Because the possibility of illegal immigrant detention as a profit center has gone through the roof in the minds of a lot of these private prison companies and lobbyists. It's very clear what the connection is. Yeah, there is a lot of money to be made. So th there's some shady dealings going on. All right. So again, more corrosive effect of uh, money in politics, more, uh, more nonsense from Jan Brewer. I don't even know what else to say. It's so, ple it's, it's, it's clear as glass. It's plain as day to me, Lewis, what is happening here. Senility may, may be at play. You think that there, there may be a, that, I mean, we don't know when is the last time that Jan Brewer has had a psych eval. We don't know. We don't know when is the last time Jan Brewer has had a CAT scan. And I'm not even joking about that. I mean, we've seen so many of these cases, people, uh, the, the seizures and the driving. We've seen early signs of Alzheimer's with, with uh, you know, allegedly it was there with Ronald Reagan. This woman does not really seem to be with it. And we have to be asking these questions in a serious manner. Yeah, no, we're, we're, not, we're not just uh, cracking jokes here. We're serious.